I'm pretty sure I could use nothing but Psychic Onslaught with this guy until we finish, and I... Whoops. And that's why you don't use Psychic Onslaught literally every move. Uh, we just blew up one of the barrels and hit our boy. I think it's safe to say that Vaan is going to be in the infirmary after this one. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Okay, good news. Got another green seed. <laughs> Poor Vaan. Uh, right, let's go deal with these guys. I can't believe how far away they are. It's very frustrating. Also, why are you pointing over there? Uh, right, let's get over here. Good lad. And you as well. Yeah, Vaan's going to have to sit back, I think. Although he could get critically wounded, and that's fine. Honestly, that's, that's genuinely fine. Also, we have so much willpower that I'm actually going to teleport in order to catch up to everyone else. So I can keep running. There we go. Good way to cover ground in a hurry. Okay. So, are they coming back this way? Uh, apparently they're just standing there. So that's interesting. Do I want to go over that way? Or... I think we'll go this way. I hope they'll turn around and come this way at some point. That would be nice. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. Definitely got the injuries. Just don't get the plague, okay? That's that's pretty straightforward advice. But, you know, also don't explode your boys. Don't do that. Don't explode your boys. It's simple advice, but it's it's sage advice. Alright, I think. I think I might just end the turn. Or do I want to actually step forwards? I'm hoping they come this way. I guess it doesn't matter if I poke my head out now. Unleash me. Given the fact that we're all prepared. Uh, so we do actually have this. So I should probably just heal this guy. Yeah, I haven't used any of our um, our thingamajigs in a while. You know, I haven't used them. It's okay. We're gonna move over here. And they are walking towards us. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna expose them, teleport on top of them, and finish them off. I think that's the best way to go about this, don't you? I certainly do. And I'm the one holding the mouse. Filth unwanted. Hey, buddy. Oh, they spread out quite well there. And now a bunch of mutations. Well, what did you get? Tentacles. Auto gun. Extra range. Spot. That's fine. I'm going to teleport behind them all. Oh, and that guy got resistance, wait. actually. Just wait, what? Wait. Oh, I see where he is. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Okay, this is fine. Gate of Infinity. Uh, yes, go there and we'll see what happens. Boop. Oh, wow, weird spot for everyone, but... <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, so I can take that guy. Uh, who has... Here we go. That's not gonna trigger Overwatch, is it? I assume not. Excellent work, Commander. I trust your men have preserved some samples for my study. And now the last of the reinforcements are going to come in. Okay. Guardians of the Seeds. Alright. Uh, I don't want to kill this guy in a hurry. I mean, I can kill him in a hurry, so I will. And now the bridge is open. Oh, he's not on the bridge. I was thinking we could blow up the bridge and he'd fall in. That would've been really funny. Although I can do a grenade here. Here? And they'll fall that way, they'll fall that way, and they'll fall that way. Yeah. Which is... Your command. Amazing. Your Where is store. the grenade? The okay, he's got the grenade. This guy, you're going to teleport away, all well, dramatically, and kill this man. <laughs> is it worth doing that? Probably not. Probably not. Full strike. Again, probably I not, guys. Oh, okay, good. So this, I think, if we do it here, might kill all of them. Maybe. That feels like about the right spot. We'll find out. 
Alright, come on, chappy. You can do it. Oh, those grenades don't do knockback, do they? Well, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, let's shoot this guy. That guy? Let's shoot someone. I need to finish them off. Uh, okay. That's probably a good idea. Can't reach him, though. Okay, he's down. Got some support fire in there, too. For good measure. Lovely. And I guess I'll shoot him again. And then I'll do it a third time. Brilliant. The Emperor likes yes, look. Our path. So you can also... Ah, good, you can shoot him. Let's get the side bolt in there. Brilliant. And now you can start shooting. It also side bolts. That is going to put the warp storm up to max. So maybe I shouldn't. Okay, what we got left? This guy's got plenty of actions left too. So yeah, we're, we're all good. Oh, we got a crit. Okay. Uh, tell you what, I actually want this guy to overwatch. He might not be able to hit anything there, but... We'll see. We'll see. And let's finish him off. I'm really sad that grenade didn't cause knockback. I didn't even think to look. I just thought, grenade? Grenade's knockback? Grenade's not back good. No. No, they don't. Yeah, it's not. Not a guarantee. Not a guarantee. The enemy converging. Okay. It is great though, because obviously crack grenades, uh, with them removing armor, the things that are most armored don't have knockback anyway. Oh, speaking of armor. Yeah, I think it's a really good, um... God, that's a lot of armor. Alright, well, we're just gonna run away. <laughs> we're just gonna jog off. But yeah, I think it's really good game balance, though. To have, like, uh, you know, proper distinction between the different grenade types. So, like, the cheaper ones can knock back, which makes them really useful at just clearing out crowds. If you just throw... I mean, look, like, I could have thrown a grenade there and got three kills. And that's just the cheap grenade. Instead, I used what is, like, ostensibly a better grenade. And uh, we, did, we did less. So I think it's quite cool. Uh, so I think they can jump over here, I think. Oh, you're going to do that. And that'll do. It's going to let their armor run out. Oh, well, look at him. Hiding behind a statue that's definitely not going to fall over. Definitely not going to fall over. And that, that brazier is definitely not going to set everyone on fire. These guys are all very clever. They're all very clever. Just hanging out by the mouse trap. Uh, okay, let's hit it with that. Oh, they don't seem pleased. Uh, and you... Oh, that's a good amount of damage. They're just armor-piercing the statue. Fun. And splat. Oh, good, and he fell this way, so I can just keep shooting. That's good news. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just shoot him twice. Oh, you never one AP. Oh, I guess I'll have to stab him. Ooh, ooh. Although, it doesn't look like I'd be able to. What is your it looks like I'll have to actually shoot him with something else as well. Like this guy. Well, it worked, so... I must it's waving reload. goodbye. Yeah, you can reload. Good lad. And you... can... Is that cover? That's not even any cover, and that's heavy cover. That's a very annoying mix of cover. Standing well, never mind. And you're behind heavy cover as well, aren't you? Cheeky sod. Alright, move up here. Okay, no way they're going to get through your armor, so just um, 
do that. I will fire when ready. Good lad. And I suppose you have the ability to overwatch too, but I don't want you to. Uh, go behind here. And that'll do. Okay, so they're on fire. Uh, they seem cool about it though. They're just going to sit in the fire and overwatch. Yes, that... That makes all kinds of sense, yes. I mean, you guys have to kill me before I teleport away. You know that, right, Plague Marines? I don't think they knew that. I don't think they realized. Next time we should tell them in advance so they can put up a fight. Uh, but yeah, victory. So the, our biggest enemy was ourselves in this one. Okay. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, Twelve more completely pointless seeds that we're never going to be able to spend. And, uh, but plenty for acquisition again, and plenty of interesting rewards to choose from. So let's have a look. A very nice looking gun here. Cybolt higher crit. Uh, extra range potentially is nice. So just very big crit, I guess. Uh, when this weapon crits, you can choose to damage one of the target's body parts. The fact that it's got precision targeting is insane. Also, this is awesome, plus 50% focus. Yeah, we can give this to as many people as we like. That's amazing. We can give this to Oleanthus. Uh, Iolanthus. I keep saying Oleanthus. Iolanthus. We can give that to Iolanthus. To replace the other Santic Shard. That's a really cool ability. Uh, Valdar's Discipline. Uh, some extra willpower. It's tier 1. And Sword of Days. It has parry and first strike. And it does 5 damage. So if something comes near it, he has a chance to stab them, which might kill them, and even if they do attack him in melee, he can parry it. See, if we gave him that, if I say that anyone, if we gave anyone this, and then we gave them a Santic Shard, he'd have a 100% chance to attack anything that came near and then block the first melee attack. That's a very cool combo. And yeah, I do quite like the look of this, just insane critting allowing us to target body parts. Uh, Oberon Crassus is of no use to us whatsoever, and Valdar's discipline is rubbish, but hey, these are these are good things. I'm happy with that. Very satisfied, thank you. Those are some really cool abilities. Oh, and I just got another achievement, which was Gun Master, which was uh, craft... Uh, sorry, get a Master Crafted Level 3 uh, gun, ranged weapon. Uh, teleport boost. When it's not used teleport ability, they have a 50% chance to gain AP. That is always useful. Also, extra range on the teleport is always useful. The extra damage on the teleport strike is pretty great, though, as well. Because if I do that, I don't need the extra AP. That really just let, lets me clear out an entire crowd of enemies in a single teleport. So that I think I will go with. I'll go with those two, then I'll go with the, the teleport boost and the extra range, so I can teleport from a mile off. Because that range on the teleport really helps. Although, actually, I say that. Does, I think teleport and teleport strike use the same range, don't they? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. If they do, then that's great. Because uh, teleport strike, it's, it's done by range, how many targets you can do. You know? So, yeah. Uh, I, I think we're good. I think that's, that's fine. That'll do. And 18 days out. Really, only 18 days. Light wounds. He had like four health left. That's really impressive. I think it's because he basically, um, because he's really low level, most of the health that he had, I think, was from his armor. So if he didn't have the armor, he'd have probably been dead. But, like, it means that he had very little of his own hit points uh, removed. So that could be it. But yeah, that was surprising. Okay, what is next then? So we cleared all that out. Uh, that is now not a big threat like it was. That's looking a bit iffy though. Um, there's quite a lot of iffiness around here, but I think too bad. That's looking a bit iffy. Uh, I think I might loiter around here. Yeah, I think I might loiter around here somewhere so I can target any of these. I do need to set up another prognostica over here at some point, because we, we shed that one. 
So yeah, I do need to set up here again. I might put one here so I cover these. I'm not sure that's getting any more. I'm not sure if the, the Eldar ship actually gets any any corruption. I don't know if that's purely story based or, or if we will end up going there again. Really not sure. We'll see. I'm sure we'll see. Eventually. Ship project complete. Void shields. Good. I'm glad that is fixed. We do not have... Oh, no, actually we've got nine servitors. That's not too bad. I didn't think we had many. I guess we've earned a few. So I could finally repair the hull. So we have five out of five, but I think three is plenty. Uh, upgrading the gun batteries might be fun as well. We could finally upgrade our research speed, but I feel like we're getting enough stuff researched as it is. So I think I might go with more guns. Yeah, I think I'm tempted to go with more guns, or we could upgrade the Orgarium. I think we'll do the Orgarium so we can get the Agnostic Car, because I want to actually put another one of them out. Um, I want to get this stuff done, so we'll go with the Prognostic Car. God, I love that we got the this thing here now for the Morbus. Um, very scary. Just It always reminds us that, that failure is looming, you know, failure is now on the cards. It's very cool. Oh, there's another ship over there. What a bother that guy is. See so there, ugh. Yeah, there's some iffiness over there. This is fine. I, I want to make sure we get the blue stuff covered, because we haven't really got much in the way of blue seeds, do we? Hang on. What is it we're really missing? You know, it's actually yellow that we have the least of now. It's actually yellow, but we are very low on all of them except red. Red isn't doing too badly. Red's doing all right. All right. Here we go. I have been studying the necrosis strain. Its rot is spread by the most numerous of Nurgle's allies, the fly. They seek out the target's eyes, feeding off the liquid surface while depositing their spores within. Soon everything the victim sees is tainted by decay and they become an evangelist uh, evangelist for the fly lord's truth. Yet we shall cleanse the necrosis seeds in our faith for the emperor and create powerful purity seals to carry into battle. We sure will totes. And then we can do this last one so we can get the uh, cheaper purple upgrades. So these ones, um, these will cost seven, because seven is one of Nurgle's numbers. Uh, so I could do this one, and this will allow us to do uh, this locates the Reaper. So this allows us to do the first boss battle. Which I think is something we should get out of the way, though I would quite like to make sure all this stuff is cheap. It's only 13 days, which makes me think I might as well, right? Might as well get it out of the way. I have a feeling this boss will be pretty straightforward. Because I think this is the boss that we fought in the uh, the press demo that I, I was able to play remotely. But uh, yeah, let's just make sure all the upgrades are cheap. Let's do that first. Okay. Alright, the ship does seem to be hunting us, I think. And what's this? Commander, though I am concerned with how rapidly I see this bloom is spreading, your demands of Titan's armory have been growing dramatically. The commander of a Grey Knight strike force must exercise self-discipline in the sacrament of battle. Have you been truly adhering to the virtues demanded of your station? Okay, this is very annoying. Because I don't want to have a bunch of knights get taken away, although I can handle that, honestly. It would be a nice way to mix things up a bit. Um... But yeah, I don't want to lose unequipped mastercrafted items because we might lose some of the really cool ones that we found because I haven't bothered to equip them yet. Which uh, does lend credence to the idea of, of making sure to equip things immediately. But no, I'm, I'm not going to change. I won't change for you, I won't change for Varden Kai. So, uh, let's undertake the ritual penance. I think it'll be fun to have to go without some knights for a little while. It'll uh, force us to be a little bit more... Uh, um, I guess adaptable, which is quite funny that the fact that I've started this by saying I'm never going to change. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it. You impress me, Commander. Even a veteran captain would be reluctant to sacrifice his best warriors in the midst of an active campaign. 
I eagerly await the results. <laughs> so do I, because the those boss, are three of the now best. Now that he finally acknowledges the threat, he recants his support. Thoroughly sensible. Ascent. Results require resources. Outcomes are not achieved through aspiration alone. The plight we contend with here is matched by unspeakable horrors our brothers face elsewhere across the galaxy. The gifts the Emperor has given us are mighty, so we consider it a virtue to achieve heroic deeds with the barest of arms. Do not forget this, Commander. Chaos does not fight with one hand tied behind its back. Sure doesn't, but apparently we do. Uh, but it's okay, we can upgrade everything to maximum. We will never need to upgrade any of this stuff ever again, I don't think. Uh, yeah, maximum access level has been granted there. So we'll have maximum access to everything. That's kind of insane. I think this shows how much we have, like, dragged our feet in the initial, um, conflict. Although I think what should happen, right? I think what should happen is these upgrades should go up in cost each time you upgrade them. So I think it should only cost you, like, one to unlock them. And then two to upgrade them again, three, four. Like that, we have to make real choices about whether to get the rewards or invest. But right now, we've actually been getting enough requisition to max this out. Um, purely because we went one, like, one cycle, I guess, is the best way to describe it. We went one cycle without bothering to take... Uh, well, not without bothering, we were locked out of the armory. But, yeah, so our requisition grew up, and yeah, look at that. Maxed out. Yeah, I'm incredibly satisfied. That's wonderful, thank you. Uh, bye. So, alright, let's have a look at our barracks. All of these guys. Oh, no, those two are injured, but yeah. Our four best. Kai, Iolanthus, Storm, and the other Iolanthus. They are four of our best. We still have Cadillan, so that's good. Uh, we have that new chaplain that we haven't used yet. We have the other chaplain. We still have Van and Thule. Like, we got, we still got some stuff, okay? And, like, Han is really good. We still have our best apothecary. And only apothecary, because the other one accidentally got turned into a paladin, weirdly. Um, so, yeah. No, this is fine. Probably. Kind of. It's 60 days. That's so many missions. Yeah, this is going to be very exciting. We're going to end up with, like, another, a, a different um, dream team. You guys realize. We end up with a different dream team. Which is very exciting. Now, do I want to go fight that guy? <laughs> I sort of want to fight that spaceship. But no, we're just going to advance time, see where the missions end up, and then figure out who the hell we're going to send on one. Alright, what have you got for me? Oh my god, really? Do they have to be all the way over there? Okay, that's like nothing important. Neither is that. That's really... Oh, actually, it's going up to three. But that's fine. We can, we can address that again. That one's looking a bit crusty, though. Yeah, that's looking a little crusty. I think it's that ship is actually spreading it. I think the ships might spread the, uh, help spread the plague. Or plagues. I think they might. Hard to say. Hard to say. But anyway, what's this one going to give us? Extra requisition. That's, eh, fine. And, uh, who's this? Is that one of the, one of the Terminators? Plague Champion. A commander of the Plague Marines. This champion gives you ruthless orders that provide valuable combat boons to his allies. What? It's a bloom spawn one. The only enemy is a is a plague champion. Does that mean we have squads of champions? Have they upgraded the the tier of infantry again? That's very cool if that's the case. Uh, but okay, yeah, we'll get plenty of seeds out of this, probably, and we'll destroy some bloom spawn. Win without using grenades. I mean, we can do that. We rarely use them. That's fine. We got some good opportunities to get some fun things. An incinerator we've never used before. That we get a better Crozius Arcanum. We have a guy who wields a Crozius, and we just haven't been able to get a weapon for him. So we got potential here. There's potential for some decent stuff here. So yeah, we're gonna go to this one. To uh, uh, I want to say Gephardt, but it could be Gephardt. G fart. It could be G fart three. Let's go to G fart. Yeah, whenever you're ready, mate. Very tense. Okay, good. Okay, we got to the prognostic car. I had the acquisition relay the algorithm from one of her grimoires. She refused to allow me direct access. I must say, I find the way you unaugmented consume data quaint. Why scan it with your retinal nerves when you could insert? the binaric cant straight into your skull. 
It is a minor surgical procedure, Commander. My servitors can perform it at your leisure. Thanks, that's... thanks. <laughs> Please keep away from me. Forever. Uh, we have nothing. We have nothing we can afford. Yeah, we can't afford anything right now. We just have to wait for more servitors. Which is a pity. I was hoping to do a mission that would get us more servitors. But, uh... I also want to try and keep the corruption down a bit. That would be good. One thing that's also quite interesting is if we do the... Uh, if we unlock that first boss battle, uh, we can actually get rid of the green plague forever, can't we? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how that works. So that would be good. Oh, also, yeah, let's let's attune the prognostic car. I think I'm going to put it here so we can cover these ones. And then we can do another one here. Uh, here? I don't know. Somewhere. But this isn't a bad spot. It covers a fair bit of ground. Uh, that covers a fair bit as well. That doesn't really cover anything. I mean, this is really... Oh, that's already covered, that's already covered, so that's a bit pointless. Yeah, that's why we had the last one. I mean, that's still seven, isn't it? I mean, this is less, but... I feel like it covers some more tricky ones. Although this gives us more of a, a direct line through, so we get, we get to move faster. Uh, we don't get to move faster, I mean, the, the deadline's higher, so, you know. Yeah, so I guess we put it right on the outside, because the ones on the outside are the ones that we need the longest to reach, so we should delay them the most. So, alright, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. Attune prognostic card. Yeah, sure. That'll do. Alright. So, yeah, I think going to the edge is probably a good idea. We can have the middle be derelict, honestly. We could probably undo this one. Can I undo this one? Is there something you can do about that? Don't think so. Unless maybe I visit it. Maybe I can do something about it if I visit. Not sure. Research projects completed. Of all the strains, the Bloom Tentaros troubles me most. Its victims are duped into playing a crucial role in their own damnation, willingly giving themselves over to the Plague God's crippling embrace. It is satisfying to now turn the Tentaros seas against their own purpose, using their ash to create purity seals that embody the vigour of the Emperor himself. Totally. Now... We can queue up the red one, which means we'll be able to clear out the red. But this might be a lot more difficult. I don't know if these are all going to be the same level of difficulty or what. I have no idea. Um, not a clue. That looks like an orc. <laughs> Hang on, is it an orc? Is it actually? Is that is that possible? There doesn't need to be precedent for it before a bunch of people go, No, orcs can't get ill. Like, there doesn't need to be precedent for it because, like, the whole point is that these are, you know, this is a unique, these are unique plagues. They can do unique things. So, I mean, if that is actually an orc, it's totally doable. If it hasn't happened in the past, irrelevant. Someone can just write it into being and it exists. Um, I know, I know what you lot get, like, with, with your 40k law, okay? Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not possible in the infinite, you know, near infinite size of the galaxy, okay? Anything can happen. Uh, yeah, we're going to locate this one. We're going to do the green one first. We're going to get that out of the way. 18 days. So in 18 days, we still won't have our squad. you got to remember. We still won't have our squad. So now we're sort of playing for time to try and get our, our team back online, really. Okay, so we should get plenty of the yellow ones, so that'll unlock more research. I really can't wait to see these guys. Danger level's high, and uh, yeah, just a new enemy type is going to be really interesting, these Plague Champions. I can't wait to see that in action. We are going to try and do it without grenades, which is actually a little bit frightening. It's a little bit frightening, because crack grenades will probably be very useful against all these Plague Champions. I think armor is going to be something we're going to have to contend with. Um, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky, I reckon. Uh, also, everyone's on missions, but nobody's injured, which means we can actually take, um, Van? Or oh, is it Han? We can take Han with us. So we do have some... Oh my god, look at this. Uh, Han. Han! Hello. Uh, without grenades, yes, yes, I know, everyone's got one. War gear slot. Uh, hang on, what's this guy's thing? 
Overwatch. His thing is Overwatch. So, extra focus, extra crit damage might be nice. Oh, that's for melee, though. Extra range is actually a really fun idea. He could overwatch across the map. That's quite tempting. I think that's happening. Cool. Uh, and now... Oh, yeah, and you also want the extra range. Sure. Definitely want that. Hopefully we can get a higher level purity seal at some point. That would be really good. That would be really good to have. And then we have Van, who is our um, sort of uh, chap in training. So we can't actually swap to any of the other swords. Uh, well, not to the other weapons that are currently on a mission. Uh, this, though, we can. And, okay, we don't have much yellow, but we should get some more this time around. So I think I'll try it. Uh, we'll get more crit this way. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, really get some good crit out of him. Good. Then we're going to have a look at our armor, which is mostly... Actually, no, we did keep it. I'm glad we took the B team with us in that last uh, battle. I really am. That's really helped a lot. Uh, this might be really good for him, actually. But that's currently on Thule. And this is what he's currently got equipped. I mean, extra HP is quite nice. The grenade stuff is... Yeah. We do need some more power armor, for sure. We definitely do. So, he's got the Extractor Servo Skull. But with that sword... I kind of want to give him the... The Sanctic Shard. I kind of want to give him that. I think that'd be pretty great. Although... You know what? Our Chaplain... Oh, hang on. Can he even use... Oh, he can use anything. So what does the Arcanum even do? It afflicts vulnerable. Do I care? Not really. I don't really care about that. I was going from the Force Sword, okay? I'm sorry to take this from what's-his-face, but this is great. The fact that I'm taunting enemies, I can overwatch, get a bunch of kills as they're running towards me, and when they reach me, I can first strike one of them to do more damage, and I can parry the first attack. So, actually, this is sort of perfect for someone who is forcing people to come towards him. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to change the equipment to this so the autos have a 100% chance to proc. That is way better. That is way better. Good. I really like this guy. I like our chaplains. Um, right, but that means that the interceptor now needs to have a better weapon. So let's give him the... I could just give him the halberd back. Demon hammer is always fun, but that's on a mission. Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, let's give him that halberd back then. It's just it's five damage. It's it's better damage. Could get another ten percent crit. That's our last seed, and I don't think extra ten percent is going to make much of a difference, honestly. So he's going to extract seeds. He can teleport. Does five damage by default. It, it's fine. And our apothecary just need to check that he indeed, yeah, he does have the good, the good. Um, Nathesium, that's the word. So many nouns. So many nouns. And stratagems are brilliant. We actually have a plus two AP um, thing as well, which is nice. I like that. I like that we can bring that along as well. So there we go. This will do it. Uh, we're going to be fighting champions now, which is really cool. Can't wait to see how, uh, how much of a challenge they are. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you stick around to see it. So comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.